Howdy there YouTube, it's me, Sizzle Games. I'm here bringing you this video. Pretty much, it's going to be just one of those commentaries that I do every now and then, you know? You know. So, I actually recorded this yesterday, but I left out some like major details and some of the things that I said, so I'm going to re-record this, and after I recorded that video that I recorded yesterday, like, you know, this exact same video pretty much, my, I went on Xbox and my friend was all like, when are you going to do another Call of Duty video? And I was like, hmm, I might as well make the video better. So, here we go. I'm actually going to go into a lot better detail with the stories that I'm telling you. And in case you can't tell by the title of this video, this commentary is going to be about my school. So, with this video, I'm not saying that my school is like anywhere near as bad as some school I hear, some schools I hear out there, because there are definitely way worse schools, like, there is no doubt in my mind that my school, compared to so many other schools in America, is just, like, gummy land, and sugar pie farm village, compared to, like, I don't even know, I can't really even think of a school at the moment, but there are some pretty bad schools out there. So let me just go ahead and start up. So I'm going to be saying three stories that I've experienced in my school. Uh, they might be the worst that I've experienced. They might not be. You never know. I'm just, these are like the three that come to my, to the, I might say four, but these four or three, I don't really know, are the three or four that come to my mind at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and say them. So let's start from the one that happened the most recently. So I was in the library studying for some test. I think it was like a math test. I had like a little packet that I had just completed. And whenever I have a test, I just go into the library, go over it, and then, you know, I take the test. So check this out. You ready? You ready for this? Three people walk up uh, near me, and I, I wasn't expecting that because I'm like sitting all the way in the back of the 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 library like behind this brick pillar so nobody can bother me at all but i can like see these three people just walking towards me i was like what do they want i just want to study so one person sits down next to me another person sits down next to that person and then one person picks up a book and is just like yeah i'm just gonna read and these three i've seen them around they're pretty loud they're pretty like notorious for being troublemakers so i was like what do they want so one of them says, the one that's sitting down closest to me is all like, cover me, cover me, to the person to the left of her, because it was two girls and one guy, and she says, cover me, cover me, and she has like, she pulls out like this plastic um, bag, and inside is like a water bottle, and I can't really, like half of the water bottle is only showing, and that part is empty, so I was like, what's going on here, and in front of them is like this plant, like a fake plant, and it's like huge, not really, really big, but... It, like, the leaves stem out pretty far, but it's in, like, you know, a flowering pot or whatever. And that guy that's sitting next to her takes it and puts it, like, right in front of them, so... Or right to the left of them, so nobody in the library can see what they're doing. Next thing I know, this girl pulls out the water bottle, and she starts making a blunt. If you don't know what that is... She's basically about to smoke marijuana in the library. So, me being the person that I am, I just close my lot, not my library book, my packet, and I just walk away. And then the guy's all like, where are you going? And I was all like, I, I, I don't want to be any part of this. And he's all like, you better not be snitching. I was like, trust me, I won't. You do what you do. It's none of my business. So then the librarian, later on, she, they see that, you know, I'm, like, nowhere near the librarian, so they, like, constantly look over their shoulder to see if I'm telling on them or whatever. The librarian walks over to them to see what they're doing. <laughs> when she finds out what they're doing, they literally take the plant, throw it at the librarian's face, and while the librarian's just, like, stunned from this, they just, they just run. They just, whoosh, and they're gone. And oh my gosh, I just started laughing so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so funny. Anyways, let's keep going. I gotta I gotta speed this up. I'm only gonna do three stories because it's already been five minutes. I only have four more minutes in this video. So, 
next story. This one's going to be quick and simple. There's a girl in my school who does the sucky sucky for apples, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you give her some apples, like a, like a little sliced apple bag they have at lunch, and she will take you behind the school to this building across the street, and she will perform the sucky sucky. What the heck? They're apples. Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, and finally, the last story. Probably my YouTube friends, like... Apost like S apostrophe, as in more than just one apostrophe. Apostrophe. Yeah, more than just one. It's, this is like their favorite story. I don't know if I can fit it in to three minutes. Probably I can, though. So, I was in the library, and I was just typing away, doing whatever I was doing. I can't remember. It was like, this was like a month ago now. And some guy just sits right next to me, like, there's so many other computers, and this guy just sits right next to me. I'm like, oh, okay, and I just keep typing. Next thing I know, there's another guy who walks into the library, and he's, like, walking towards this big group of people. I guess that was his class or whatever, and they were in the library that day. And all he says is, it's hotter than water cancer in here. And all I could think is, what is water cancer? Is that even a real thing? But I, I just kind of brushed that aside and I just continued to type away. Then like 10 seconds later, the guy to the left of me that just sat down, he, I can see him like through the corner of my eye like looking at me. And he's just like, bro, bro, bro. And I just kind of like ignore him. And he's just like, bro. So after that fourth bro, I was like, I just turn towards him and I say, what? And this guy just like nods at me. I'm like, oh. Okay, and I just nod back right away. Next thing I know, this guy just stands up calmly, cool, collected, walks over to the guy who just said it was hotter than water cancer, and just punches him straight in the face. And my eyes, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if you're hearing like this clicking, but I'm like laughing and crisscross applesauce on my chair, so it's kind of going like, <laughs> and yeah, anyways, my eyes just like opened wide, like, I was like, what? What just what just happened? Like what? What? And I I I was I was literally speechless, but that was going on in my head, like what? So then they just start fighting and I'm like, did I did I cause this? With that nod? What was that? So as they're fighting, I just I just finish up my typing. I was like pretty much done by the time the guy had sat down. I just had like another couple of sentences to go so I just finished up and I just walked out like nothing happened and I oh my gosh that that still confuses me like what happened what made him do that from my nodding what what did my nod have to do with a signal for him to punch some guy like what it, it makes no sense let me see if I can fit this final story in like to the final minute so last year in 10th grade I was in my music class, and this guy had just come back, like, all happy and excited, like, yeah, just about some marijuana, and I was like, wow, wow, so he finds out it's carpet shavings and oregano, <laughs> everyone in the class started laughing, and this guy, oh my gosh, the next thing I know, he pulls out a pill, crushes it, and just starts snorting it, like, in front of the teacher, in front of the class, he's just like, <laughs> And, yeah, yeah, that, that's my school for you. That's my school. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.